Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Jenda. Today video, I'll be showing you how to crochet for beginners, a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the basic crochet stitches. First, you will need the yarn and crochet hook. You can use any type of yarn and crochet hook that match to your yarn size, I mean the strings of yarn size like that. So now let's get into the video. Grab the yarn. First thing first, you will need to make a slip knot. Put the yarn on top of each other like this and insert your finger into the loop and grab the other side of the yarn and pull it through the loop. Or you can wrap around your fingers, insert your finger into the loop and grab the other side of the yarn, pull it out. And another one, you can use your crochet hook to make the slip knot. Twist the yarn around the hook, yarn over and pull through the loop. Use your thumb finger and middle finger to hold it close and pull the short string. And now for holding the yarn, I used to do like this. Put the yarn over your index finger and your other ring finger and pinky finger grab the long tail of the yarn. Middle finger and thumb used to hold the short tail of the yarn. And another one, wrap the yarn around your index finger and middle finger and thumb holding the short tail the same. First, after you make the slip knot, the second thing is to make the chain. So you don't want your chain too loose, you can pull the long string of the yarn to fit the crochet hook. To chain, yarn over and pull through up the loop. And for the ring fingers and pinky finger that used to hold the string of yarn, you can let go slowly so you don't want the string is too loose or too tight. Pull it out to secure the chain. This is what your chain looks like from front and the back. So this is a very basic stitches that we use to start build up the other stitches pattern. Okay now let's make the other stitches that we call single crochet. To begin single crochet, you have to make slip knot and chain first. You can make many chains as you want. And then we will start from the second chain and we skip the first chain. To single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all two loops. Now repeat the same thing into the next stitch until the end of the row.
So this is we call the first row. This is what single crochet looks like. So I'm gonna chain one to secure the stitch and cut off the yarn. Now we are going to make half double crochet. To begin, make a slip knot and chain. Okay, after chain, you have to skip the first stitch and start from the second stitch. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through of the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you have to repeat the same thing into the next stitch until the end of the row. This is what your half double crochet looks like. Chain one and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the ball crochet. Make slip knot and chain first. Then skip first stitch and start from the second stitch. To make the ball crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through of two loops. Yarn over and pull through of two loops again. And this is we call the ball crochet. Repeat the same thing into the next stitch until the end of the row.
And this is what your double crochet looks like. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And for the last one, we are going to make triple crochet. To begin, make a slip knot and chain. And then skip the first stitch and start from the second stitch. To make triple crochet, yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through of 2 loops. Yarn over and pull through of 2 loops again. And yarn over, pull through of two loops. And that's we call triple crochet. Repeat the same thing into the next stitch until the end of the row. So this is what your triple crochet looks like. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. 